Hello and welcome to Mount Sinai Live. I'm physical therapist Jim McKay. Today, I'm here with Tyree Williams, a fourth-year PhD student in the first cohort of a joint collaboration between Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and Mount Sinai Biodesign. This program enables him to complete his doctoral engineering thesis work at Mount Sinai within the Department of Neurosurgery. Through his doctoral thesis, he's navigating the entire Mount Sinai Biodesign pathway for medical device development with a focus on open and minimally invasive spinal surgery. Tyree is also the founder and CEO of Kratos Orthopedics. They recently won the 2022 MSIP Pitch Challenge competition, where they competed for a $25,000 grant. Let's welcome in Tyree to the program. Thanks for having me, Jimmy. Excited to be here. First off, let's talk about this technology that won you that $25,000 grant. How would you describe it? Yeah, so I am actually have the ability to work on the first control curing system for spine surgery that actually allows surgeons to kind of take spine surgery back into their own hands so they're not waiting at the whim of bone cement. You know, in these surgeries where they're working on someone's spine, you can imagine they're under live x-ray imaging, the patient's under anesthesia, and so creating a streamlined process for these surgeons and minimizing the amount of time that they're being exposed is really crucial here. So I'm working on the mortar system, the mortar bone cement system here, and really trying to allow surgeons to kind of take more control when they do these vertebral augmentation procedures. All right, Tyree, let's talk a little bit more specifically. How do you think your technology will help benefit patients and others in the world of healthcare? Absolutely. So there's about 700,000 vertebral compression fractures that happen annually. Uh, this is usually seen in trauma, uh, for like severe car accidents, sports injuries, uh, even tumor growth, and most importantly, in the largest patient population is osteoporotic patients. So people who eventually age and have weak and brittle bone have these vertebral collapses, essentially. And so a lot of these surgeries, about three out of five patients experience bone cement leakage. This is a very critical problem that's been going on for the last 50 years, and no current solutions truly actively prevent this during the surgery. And so I'm hoping for my technology to truly empower surgeons to prevent this and also lead to better patient outcomes. About one in four patients actually experience adjacent level fractures, which means the upper or lower vertebral body actually collapses. And so they're being placed right back into the hospital where they just tried to leave. And so I'm truly hoping to reduce that number and allow patients to kind of live a better, healthier lifestyle following surgery. All right, let's talk about that pitch challenge. That's gotta be something a little bit different, a little bit new. Talk about that for us. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as a PhD scientist, you know, getting my feet wet into the business world is definitely something I've always wanted to do. A little bit about me is I always had the aspiration to be a serial entrepreneur. And so getting involved in pitch challenges like this in the New York City a business plan competition and even participating in the regional i program truly get me involved in the community and understanding uh, kind of these problems in a different lens. You know, as a scientist, I think very critically uh, about some of these things and having exposure to competitions like this allow me to kind of take a step back pitch the idea in a way that I can kind of break it down in a different different aspect. And so it gets me out of my comfort zone, allows me to kind of shift gears a little bit uh, and being uh, able to kind of present my idea to a panel of venture capitalists is something that uh, I've always dreamed about. And so being able to do that has been amazing. Tyree, let's talk about that $25,000 prize. It's got to be on your mind, right? Where are we going to put that money? What's that money going to allow you to do with your project? Absolutely. So immediately it'll allow us to create a proof of concept generation uh, this is really critical for our project here because we plan to apply for an R21 grant in the coming months, and this will serve as the true foundation for that grant application. And so we plan to use 15000 of that to create a computational model and 10K of that actually to do a lot of the benchtop testing for these different compositions that we want to test. Uh, in addition to that, it will serve as our you see, catalyst for generating a minimal viable product. And obviously streamlining that process towards creating a true team that's around around this. I graduated in 2023. So the timeline is lined up perfectly for me to actually graduate and kind of take this as my own and really push forward uh, to creating a company and creating a product that you actually see on the market. Well, Tyree, we're all wishing you uh, the best of luck. Thanks for tackling this problem. And we, uh, we hope to hear more about your solution in the future. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, Jimmy.